Hello my dear students. Today we are going to learn how to write a report. This topic is extremely important because it carries more than 10% of your entire English marks. Okay. English marks is 80 plus 20. Okay. So here from 80 more than 10% is going to be occupied by report writing its marks is 10 okay so let's see what is a report and what are the formats that we need to keep in mind while writing a report a report is an objective account of some event or incident okay in report we are going to tell the readers about some event or incident it is generally of interest to the general public. Report is written in order to give information to general public. It is based on facts. Of course, when we are writing report about event and incident, we need to include facts. Okay? It should not be from our mind. Whatever has happened, you have to put those in your words. It should be written in direct, straightforward manner. You should not write in a roundabout manner because it is a report and it should be direct. And when you write, use short sentences in order to avoid grammatical mistakes. There is no need to give long explanation or discussion of any short Whatever has happened, whenever it has happened, okay, all those informations you are going to put it in a paragraph and you are going to present it before the readers. Let's look at the format. Format of a report. Generally, at first we should write headline or title. It should be brief and eye-catching. Okay, in the newspaper you must have seen that the headlines are very catchy because of headline we read the entire report okay so we need to keep that in mind that it should be brief and it should be eye-catching next is byline in byline you have to mention the writer's name rank or position of the report writer okay name rank usually in rank you should write staff reporter chief reporter if in the question it is not given you can write staff reporter okay then comes first paragraph in introductory paragraph you are going to give details about the date place time and manner of happening okay then we will move towards second paragraph that is details details includes eyewitness account damage or casualties if any action taken and relief measures etc here these details are based on some incident okay if there is an accident between two vehicles then how the accident had happened how many casualties were there what action was taken by the police and any relief measures were taken you have to mention those in conclusion there should be observation a remark about the happening okay this line in conclusion you can include something from your side but it should not be too personal okay here we have two things that uh, we need to keep in mind that we write report for magazine and report for newspaper okay and uh, both the report writings has its different way of writing as well there are different formats for magazine report writing and newspaper report writing so let's see magazine report writing at first in magazine report writing you have to write heading first and in heading you have to describe the title that is expressive of the content of the report throughout the paragraph what you are going to write okay the title should clear that then comes byline. Byline is nothing else than name of the person who is writing the report. Okay, and it is for school magazine. Therefore, the child should write class and section. But keep in mind, 
it is generally given in the question the name is generally given in the question but if it is not given you are not going to leave it blank either you can write a b c okay or you can write any other person's name you are not going to write your own name okay remember you are not supposed to mention your personal details in your answer i told you you should not use personal details in your answer sheet anywhere be it article writing be it report writing you should not mention your name or a school's name another important thing is that the opening paragraph okay that is intro paragraph should conclude should include the five w's namely what why when and where and who okay here what is the occasion what is the function what is the event okay it could be uh, teachers day okay it could be accident between two vehicles okay so you have to mention what is the event then comes why what is the importance of the function if it is teachers day in one two line you will you are going to write that because of Dr. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan's birthday, we celebrate Teacher's Day. And in order to celebrate that, so-and-so school has gathered here in so-and-so venue, etc. Okay, you can start in that way. Then comes when. These are very important things. Date, day, got it? day and time. Okay, where full details of the venue. Usually it happens in the school. Okay, but... You have to read question twice in order to get the information. And remember that even if you follow entire uh, format, but you have written your own. Okay, whereas the points are already given in the question. In that case also you are not going to get marks. Therefore, read question twice in order to get the information. Okay, how you are going to prepare it, I will discuss um, regarding that as well. Please wait for a while. Okay, let's come back here to 5 W's. Next comes who. Who has come as the chief guest? Usually it is some renowned personality from our society or some administrative person. Okay, you have to mention that. These 5 W's are extremely important in report writing which gives 50% of the information about the event or incident. Let's discuss in details regarding the detail paragraph. Okay, here the proper sequence of events that occurred along with their description you have to mention. Like, first of all, whenever a program starts, we start with lightening of the lamp. Right, so you have to mention lightening of the lamp. Okay, then comes garlanding chief guest. Okay, that you have to mention. Then comes different programs one by one okay so you have to follow that sequence and make aware about the event of the function okay it should not be in a jumbled way okay you cannot mix up all the events you have to write in sequence okay all right next let's come to the conclusion Okay, let me tell you another important point. It is main paragraph and can be split into two short paragraphs if required. See, it's not necessary that report uh, will have one particular paragraph. Okay, you can divide it into many based on your requirement. But don't use too much of paragraphs. Okay, usually we use three. One for intro, one for um body you can say okay where you write details and last one is conclusion okay intro body section and conclusion if you wish to bifurcate you can bifurcate body section all right here you can make two paragraphs all right that will be more than enough okay let's see the conclusion now this will include a description of how the event ended it may include quote excerpts from the chief guest speech or how did the event wind up. Okay, here you need to keep in mind usually it is vote of thanks, okay, which concludes the program. So if somebody concludes the program, be it 
some member of the faculty some member of the institution who is holding the function or some chief guest you have to mention that okay the program was concluded by the speech of so and so person who was the chief guest of the very day now let's move towards format of the newspaper report first you have to mention headline okay where you write descriptive title this is expressive of the content of the report whatever is there in the content those things should be reflected by the title in byline first of all i told you that it will be written in the question okay you have to read twice to find out all the details about the report so here in byline if name is written in the question you write that if not you have to invent by yourselves okay abc or xyz or any sub any body's name the person writing the report along with the designation here designation is very important and here you have to think about it because it depends upon the question okay if you are writing newspapers report for accident then of course you are going to write staff reporter okay you can write correspondence reporter as well okay so based on question you have to change it and in body section we cannot give you detail explanation okay somewhere it changes you cannot stick to one particular format okay information will be changed and some description will be changed so in that case you are free to do that but make sure that you don't deviate too much from the original format it is generally given in the question remember you are not supposed to mention your personal details in your answer this is already discussed i guess it is not complicated to you place and date of reporting it is most crucial detail about the report okay if you say that 10 years ago so and so thing has happened this is this will not have any relevance in our current days therefore you have to mention place date okay and the report should be based on our day to day life all right okay next let's see opening paragraph of newspaper report in the opening paragraph what you have to do it includes the expansion of the heading it needs to be short as it is a general overview of the report after writing heading and byline you have to start your paragraph so here you will write in short short about the details of the event okay like if it is about children's day okay you will write that children's day usually celebrated on 14th of november and this day children enjoys a lot after that you have to write the account after that you have to write the account of the event in details okay what all programs has happened what all uh, say for example if it is an accident between whom the accident had happened which were the vehicles whose fault was there okay and because of what reason the accident happened and what were the casualties what is the reaction of the doctors police etc everything you are going to mention it is generally written in two parts first complete account of what happened in its chronological sequence preferably and second the witness remark usually during accident first of all vehicle okay direction from where they were coming if it is because of a speed who was driving in over speed etc you have to mention okay and then you will mention eye witness account as well if somebody had seen that particular accident happening then those eye witness account will be written but this should be within inverted commas or if you want to change it to report writing you may do that eye witness remark should also be included if you wish you can translate it into third person and then you can write it 
And the concluding paragraph. This will conclude the action that has been taken so far or that will be taken. Here, the police who has noted down the incident and everything, whether they are going to do something on this accident, you have to mention that. I am giving example from newspaper writing. Okay, here, this will be very helpful for you all. First of all, you will write heading, byline and then these are the points that should be there in your report. First of all, name of the event, occasion. Okay, these two are same but you will mention in details out here in second one. Okay, then comes organizer who is organizing the event, date, time and place, details of the event, then chief guest and highlights, speech by the chief guest cultural event, cultural items, if any, and vote of thanks. Okay. So, here, first of all, garlanding, lightening of the lamp, garland, garlanding, then comes chief guest's speech, then cultural item one by one. Okay. You can say song, dance, poetry, recitation, etc. And at last, you will include vote of thanks. Then, you will write concluding remark about the function, whether it was good or extraordinary, etc. Okay. So, these are the things that should be there in your report. Okay, these are the points in case of event or function. Now, we will see in case of accident what you are going to include. In case of accident, you have to write type of accident, whether it is done by car hit or colliding two vehicles, okay, or it was just a fall from the steps etc then comes place time and manner never forget this because uh, without this the report will be totally incomplete persons and vehicles involved how many persons were injured how many persons were dead and uh, vehicle involved name of the vehicle you should mention details of the casualties here how many people were dead or how many are in the hospital etc then comes description of the accident site where it has happened okay then comes inquiry ordered or not <clears throat> obviously when there will be accident police will be called okay so what was the reaction of the police after looking at the accident eyewitness account now what eyewitness says whose fault was it okay and what had happened everything in details Comprehension, sorry, compensation announced. If compensation was announced by the government to the deceased souls or not. That you need to remember. You need to write. That you need to write. Concluding remarks or observation. Now, you, will, you can write few lines about rash driving or being cautious or the police task will be completed very soon. Okay, and then you will come conclude the report writing. I hope it is clear. Now, the main point is that how should you write the report? Let's see the tips. Read the question at least twice. And while reading, you have to underline the information which is given in the question. Okay, with pencil, if you will do, it will not be noticed. Then comes highlight the important information. I told you to underline. This is very important to understand the question and read between the lines. Okay, don't rush in writing your answers because sometimes you write something and something else will be asked. So, in that case, you will not fetch full marks. Only format marks will be given but not regarding the content. Okay, let's move to the next point. Make sure you use simple, you use language which is suitable for the audience you are addressing. It is based on your audience, what kind of language you use. If they are very much literate, then you may use hi-fi language. You can use bombastic words. But if they are not so literate, then you, are, you should change your language as well. You have to make it as simple as possible, right? The uses of complex vocabulary for addressing children is not advisable. Here, complex vocabulary is not accepted. Okay, because this will complicate reading of the report. People will have to see dictionary now and then in order to understand the report which 
loses its charm. Make sure you write in paragraphs. You have to write in paragraphs. I told you first will be intro, second and third will be body section and sorry, fourth one will be a concluding paragraph. Okay. Make sure you write in paragraphs. Practice previous year question papers. So you have I'll share a few of the questions with you. You have to see and uh, I have already given you what it should be what should be there in the question and what are the things that you need to remember okay but apart from that example is also given in this video only you please go through that and then you will get some knowledge about how to write the report okay avoid writing in present tense you should not write in present tense that is ing form okay that is ing form so like the function is organizing then children are dancing all right this r m r will not be allowed because this represents present tense instead of this you can use past tense or past perfect tense okay next read as many samples as you can when you read automatically you will get the idea how should you write the report but make sure that avoid using present tense in order to get full marks it will give you an idea as to how they are actually written i told you it will give you idea about the report writing practice previous year question papers if you practice 10 questions from past year then you will be ready with report writing okay it's not very tough plan before you write here planning is very important now how you will plan i will tell you just make a list of all your important points on the rough sheet when you are in the examination and you have already read the question you understood what you have to write okay take a piece of paper and then you write down the events that you are going to mention if you mention your events then automatically you will remember in your mind that this is this is the particular thing which comes first and this is the thing which comes later okay last sheet of your answer booklet so that you do not forget relevant points while writing usually when we write then after that after writing we realize that we had to include one particular point and there won't be any space so for that one needs practice this also helps you in maintaining a sequence which is very important obviously if you write rest everything at the first and then you will write lightening of the lamp at the end is it going to work no isn't it therefore you have to observe the event when and what was the thing that happened first and then only you can conclude the report writing Children, presentation is very important, so keep in mind that. Make sure you double check grammatical accuracy and spellings. If there will be grammatical errors, then automatically your marks will be cut. Therefore, read the question twice, read your, an read your answers twice. Leave an adequate number of lines between paragraphs to make it look clean. So here, you have to work on your handwriting regarding this underlining the main points is very important but it is but it is advised to do it after finishing your exam underlining is very important be it literature be it writing but you are going to do it after completing entire questions use a pencil and scale for underlining okay this you will do if you have time if not just leave it make small sentences okay make short sentences so that you will avoid grammatical inaccuracies here you can see question and answer okay you all can go through first example is regarding mmd school okay they are writing report on science symposium which was held in mmd school their own school then see here i have mentioned here i have mentioned writer's name okay it is for school magazine so class and section and then if oh sorry it is there in the question okay here i told you that 
all the information cannot be shared regarding report you have to write few of the things on your own editor of the school magazine is given therefore we have to write editor of the school magazine as well in byline then first paragraph okay then second paragraph one second paragraph two and concluding paragraph this is next question and here this is question number two this is question number two okay and here I have written value points what are the value points that you need to keep in mind while writing the report so here is your answer a train a bus train incident okay first intro then details paragraph another details paragraph and then conclusion so this is how you are going to write report okay this is clear i guess if not just drop a message to me